Today I'm cooking a two pound cowboy ribeye steak and I'm going to start by drizzling some olive oil on the steak and that's going to be used as a binder to help the rubs stick to the steak. Today we're seasoning with Neil Seraph's dam and I am going to season the steak on all sides and as evenly as possible. Today I'm starting the cook on the Yoder YS640S pellet grill. I have the temperature set to 220 degrees. I'm using smoke ring pellets, hickory and beech blend, and I'm going to pull the steak off when it hits an internal temperature of 120 degrees. The steak has hit an internal temperature of 120 degrees, so I'm going to pull it off the Yoder and I'm going to go do a reverse sear. Today for the reverse sear, I am using the Weber 22 inch kettle grill. I'm using Fogo lump charcoal and the steak is going to be on here for about two minutes a side. Now that the reverse sear is done, it's time to take the steak off the grill, let it rest and then slice it up. I've let the steak rest for 20 minutes, so now let's start taking this bad boy off the bone. And then after that, I'm going to take off the spinalis from the rest of the ribeye. The spinalis is the part of the ribeye that everyone's after. That's the most tender part. Doing steaks on the grill is a backyard barbecue tradition. Don't be scared of these bigger cuts of steak like the cowboy ribeye or even the tomahawk. Just have fun with it and make it your own. This is Johnny from Smokey Q. I'll see you later.